Okay, this video is going to show you how to use the system um, as a broker or a loan officer. So there's there's two paths we can talk about. One is you know a broker or a loan officer that doesn't have login rights to the system, so there's still a way for them to you know submit deals and track the status and upload docs without being an actual user and logging into the system. I'm going to show that first. And the second one, I'll show you what the actual bar, uh, broker or loan officer portal looks like and how they can interact with the system in real time with their pipeline and creating loans and, and uploading docs via the, the logged in portal. So <clears throat> first things first, um, under your users, you'll see you have back office, branch, broker, loan officer, borrowers, and, and some contacts, right? This user chart will help me illustrate my point right now. Um, so the back office has a bunch of users with whatever roles you wanna give them, and they have permissions to see and do things on the loan files, and, and they usually manage all the loans that come from you know, your sales channels down below. These are called branches in our system, okay? By default, everybody gets one branch, and you can choose to create additional branches to represent different things, such as an account executive, different divisions or satellite offices of your organization, or correspondents, right? Third-party entities um, that uh, are like sub-accounts to the main account. And, and what's common in between them is that they all have the option to have loan officers and brokers underneath the branch, and they manage borrowers, and borrowers can have loans, right? So it's a great way to kind of um, manage the ownership of your loans and um, where it came from and whatnot, the origin path of it, okay? So, um, you know, loan officers, for example, they'll log in under their own username and password and uh, have a loan associated to them. And uh, same thing with brokers. Now, <clears throat> every loan file is associated to a branch. That's always a mandatory condition when you create a loan, like what branch does it belong to? And um, what I'm going to show you is that every branch has its own web form and every loan officer has its own web form as well. And so do brokers. So those web forms can be used, right, um, to submit loan information and it's automatically tracked to the respective branch and respective loan officer associated, you know, during that web form submission. So let me show you what I mean specifically. So underneath users, we have branch. So let's go ahead and open that branch list. Here's all of our branches in this company, a lot of different options here. Um, but just click on, you know, a specific branch. We'll do the commercial branch here. And it takes you to the profile. And you go to the web form integration area. And that's where you get a link to the full app web form. If I minimize that, I've got the quick app one. Here's the link to the quick app one. We also have the multi-step version as well. And um, you know, when you when you click on that, it'll give you the quick app version of the multi-step. And then the first thing it always asks, since this is a branch level web form, is hey, we want to give credit to any broker or loan officer if, if it's applicable. If I hit yes, then I would register the information and that would be the assigned broker. There's another field called, are you a loan officer? I have it disabled in the form field settings, but you can turn that on and, and that'll be another question that you can ask. And that's uh, part of the branch level web form. Now, if you go over to your broker list, right underneath brokers, right? You have all these options here. So let's click on, for example, Alex Jones. And you'll see there's a web form integration tab right here. And uh, it gives you the link as well. Now notice how the link is slightly different. If I click on it, it's not going to ask me that first question because we already know who the broker is on this loan submission, right? So th that's not an option to, to fill out, right? So the point I was trying to make is a branch has its own web form that will give you the option to select the broker or loan officer and then individually on each loan officer and broker that's created in the system, our software automatically creates a very unique URL for their intake form, their own unique submission form for the quick app and the full app. 
okay and the settings of those quick app and full app are inherited from the branch level right so all the all the uh, form field settings and the required docs that need to be uploaded you know are on the branch level as well um, so I hope that clarifies um, the uh, relationship between um, you know brokers loan officers and branches and how you can can they they can submit through that sample web form so if I were to fill all this out right and we'll, we'll do a uh, fix and flip here you know if I go through the motions here and complete this and submit it you know uh, we'll get that email confirmation in the inbox you know the loan officer the broker anybody that you want will get notified um, you know here's a full app submission right all the parties will be notified in the inbox there and you know let's say you review the deal on the back end and then you would click on the loan file it would take you to the loan you know the details of that loan and now you would you know price it out or you know tell the broker hey it's eligible please submit the full app All right so the quick way of doing that you know I'm a manager in the back office for example in this hypothetical scenario and I'm gonna email the broker right and I can also email the loan officer right and uh, I'm gonna let them know that uh, this is the pre-approval email hey congratulations this deals pre-approved here's a link to the full app to please submit it right so I'm gonna send this off to that loan officer and they'll get something that looks like this right and they can click on that link to the full app right and now they're able to fill out the very fine details of the loan application level right and this can go to the borrower as well they can upload it and when I submit this information it also is going to ask for the required docs so here's all the required docs that need to be uploaded for this file all right so I'm a broker loan officer and I'm filling out the loan application and I'm uploading all the docs great and then the next thing that happens is, you know, as you're dispositioning all the documents that have been uploaded, you can now, uh, you know, put the status update of all these documents here and indicate what's missing, what's needed accordingly. Okay. You send out the email and I'm going to send this out to the broker and loan officer. Maybe they're my point of contact, right? And then I'm going to send out the loan status and require docs. And I'm going to put this on autopilot where it goes out every day. Right? I can send it out every day. So they're going to get this email all the time showing them what's going on with the loan file, what's missing, what's needed. You know, so I'll, I'll, I'll also send it to the borrower. Why not? They all, get, they all should know what's going on in real time. But it's your choice how you set up that logic of notifying the status and the missing docs and whatnot. So on the email side, this is what it looks like. This email will be going out every day, shows them what's missing, what's, what's going on. They can click on that link and it takes them right away to the loan file required docs portal for this loan file. So as a broker, I could upload whatever's missing and needed and I never had to log into the system or, or take up a seat on, this, on the platform. So now you got that out of the way let's go into what does the the system look like if i were a, a logged in user right so here's our main login page so you'll notice that we have brokers this is for loan officers as well okay they would click here and log in it would take them to a dashboard only their files that they're associated to will show up in this dashboard view right so we'll see all the files that have upcoming closing they'll have most recent deals that they've been working on etc um you know, if I click on create a quick app, I can create a new loan right in the system, right? So I'm actually logged in as a loan officer. As a loan officer, I can select who the broker is and I can actually click here and add a new broker to my account. And, um, and I can basically, you know, fill everything out as needed and, and fill out a loan scenario, right? And I can do it as a quick app, a full app, and then as far as the loan stages go, 
right? Like, so for example, let's go here. So this is actually in read only mode, which is actually good, right? Like the loan's probably in processing and underwriting. Let's double check that. It's in, it doesn't show, yeah, clear to close. So obviously as a loan officer, I'm not allowed to edit the file. That's why everything's in read only mode. The minimum I can do is like make a note and like ask questions about, about what's going on with this. And then I can choose to notify, you know, the account manager or the underwriter or whoever is associated to the file, right? Um, but let's go ahead and unlock this loan. Okay, so what I did was I moved that loan to an application started status, so it op so I'm allowed to edit it in my account. The reason why is in my system settings area under file status, you can tell what the permissions are saying here. So, you know, under a completed app loan status, if I go over here under loan officer, it's got a green check, which means I'm allowed to edit the file. You know, in clear to close, it's got a red X. I don't want anybody editing that except for somebody in the back office. They're allowed to do that. So this is where the permissioning area where you can control whether a borrower, a broker, a loan officer can edit the loan file based on the status of the file itself. Okay. So now that we change the status of the file, you'll see Okay, so you'll see now I'm able to edit the same loan file because the status is now moved to, um, where is it? On. So the status is not here right now, but I, what I just did was I turned it on. This is the loan officer, Larry the loan officer. This is his profile in the back office. So as a manager, I can alter the settings. These are all the permissions. So this was actually off. I just turned it on. So you'll notice while we're here, there's a lot of permissions that you can restrict your loan officer level users or broker level users, what they can do when they're logged in. There's too many to go over individually, but they should be self-explanatory or you can have the eye icon to mouse over and explain it further. But some of the big ones would be like, are they allowed to edit the interest rate, cost of capital yield spread, allowed to enter that? Can they lock and unlock a loan? Um, meaning like edit the information. Like if you lock it and, and you don't want them to edit the loan terms and the rate, like do you want them to be able to unlock that and edit it? Like that's a permission layer. And then there's other tabs like the marketplace tab and, and things like that. Um, but this one right here was a big one. Do you want the loan officers to be able to change the status and substatus of a file? And so I just turned that back on. And now I should be able to refresh this. And now, as you see, the status is editable. Now, only certain statuses are editable. And remember, I just showed you a minute ago the permissions that are associated to the file status. So only the ones with green check marks, I can move a file into those statuses. So like as a loan officer, I can't just move a file into clear to close because I think it's ready. No, 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 no. So I can only move into statuses that I'm allowed to move things into. Okay, so that's important to know. And um, yeah, so here I'm editing a file as a loan officer logged in. I can also go to the docs tab and I can upload whatever docs I need. Okay. I can make my own notes into the, into each document, what I think needs to be looked at from an underwriter standpoint and, and all that. So all these tabs I'll have access to as a loan officer. And then I have my own pipeline. I can manage all my deals from my pipeline. I have, you know, very similar functionalities to back office with my filters. I can customize the columns to, to you know, show the data that I want to see in my pipeline view. I have my own borrower list, right? So as I grow with a lot of borrowers, I'll have a lot of borrowers in here. And, uh, you know, all the calendar tool will help me keep track of my appointments and follow-ups and things like that. I have my own task list, right? 
So if you create tasks for the user, it'll show up there. 